Hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. My tarantula is dining in, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, How do spiders eat? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a container, some sugar, and a medicine dropper. Okay, so when you and I eat, we take a bite of something, chew it up, and then we swallow it, sending it to go sit in an acid bath for an hour or two. But spiders, you see spiders don't, they don't bite and chew. Well, okay, well then how, you know, do spiders get food? Well, you're in luck. You picked the right show to watch because I am going to show you <laughs> how spiders get food. <laughs> like most of these shows, we're going to start by getting ourselves a container. And then you want to get yourself some sugar. No, no, save the saliva swap. I'm talking about <laughs> one of these little sugar cubes. And you're going to place your sugar cube inside your container. Next, you're gonna get yourself one of these medicine droppers. Ironically, we're not gonna be using it for medicine. <laughs> Instead, you're gonna put some water in it, and you're gonna squeeze that water on top of your sugar cube, a lot like this. Now, the challenge is to get the sugar water back inside your medicine dropper. <laughs> Check that out. I was able to get the sugar water inside the medicine dropper. <laughs> Why does the sugar go inside the medicine dropper, and what does this have to do with how spiders eat? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Unlike people, which digest their food inside their bodies, spiders go through a process known as external digestion, or digesting their food outside of their bodies. Spiders catch their food and then inject the food with venom, which paralyzes the animal. They then squeeze digestive juices into the puncture wounds, which begin to break down the proteins and liquefy the animal's innards. The venom gets broken down and becomes safe to consume. Spider stomachs contract. The mouth attaches to the soupy mixture, and then the stomach relaxes. This creates a vacuum, which pulls the food into the stomach. This continuous contracting and relaxing of the stomach is how spiders get food into their bodies. The food is then sent to the midgut and the abdomen, where the soapy mixture continues to digest. Eventually, the midgut squeezes the food back into the stomach and then into the spider's legs. Here, the food continues to digest as well as get absorbed into the spider's bloodstream. Any food that is not digested in the legs is pumped back into the stomach, back to the midgut, and finally out of the spider's body. So now you know more about spider digestion. You know, simulating spider eating is why science is so cool.